Imagine you're walking home late at night. The streetlights flicker, casting eerie shadows on the pavement. Suddenly, you hear footsteps behind you. Your heart races, your breath quickens, and your muscles tense up. But why? What if there's no real danger at all? Fear. It's an instinct as old as time, a primal force that has shaped human survival. But did you know that fear can also manipulate your decisions, alter your memories, and even control your entire perception of reality? Before we dive in, if you enjoy deep dives into the mysteries of the mind, make sure to subscribe. Every sub helps keep this channel going, and I'd love to have you along for the journey. Now, let's explore the science of fear. Why do we feel fear? Imagine you're standing at the edge of a cliff, looking down at the vast drop below. Even if you're completely safe, your body reacts as if you're in danger. Fear starts deep inside your brain in a small almond-shaped structure called the amygdala. This is your body's built-in alarm system. When it detects something threatening, it signals your hypothalamus, which then triggers the release of adrenaline. Your heart starts pounding, your senses sharpen, and your body prepares to either fight, run, or freeze. This reaction was once crucial for survival. Our ancestors relied on fear to escape predators and avoid danger. But today, fear isn't just about life or death situations. It can be triggered by social anxiety, public speaking, horror movies, or even imagined scenarios. How fear alters your brain. Fear doesn't just trigger a physical response. It actually rewires how you think. Studies show that prolonged fear can shrink the hippocampus, the part of your brain responsible for memory and learning. This means extreme fear can make you forget things, distort reality, and even create false memories. Ever heard of the Mandela Effect? Some researchers believe fear and anxiety can contribute to collective false memories, making people believe things happened differently than they actually did. We covered this in our Mandela Effect video. Be sure to check it out. But here's something even wilder. Fear can literally blind you. A phenomenon called perceptual narrowing makes you hyper-focus on the threat, blocking out everything else. This is why people in dangerous situations sometimes fail to notice obvious escape routes. The power of fear in society. Governments, media, and even marketing campaigns use fear as a tool to control behavior. Fear-based advertising is why companies use phrases like don't miss out or limited time only. It taps into your fear of loss. Politicians have also used fear to influence public opinion. Studies show that during uncertain times, people are more likely to follow authority figures because fear makes us crave security. But fear isn't always negative. Horror movies, haunted houses, and even roller coasters prove that we love controlled fear. That's because, in a safe environment, fear triggers a rush of dopamine, making it thrilling rather than terrifying. Can we control fear? So can you train your brain to overcome fear? Absolutely. Here are a few techniques. Exposure therapy. Gradually facing fears reduces their intensity. Mindfulness. Training your brain to recognize fear without reacting to it helps keep it in check. Reframing fear. Instead of seeing fear as a weakness, recognize it as a sign that you're stepping outside your comfort zone. Fear has controlled human behavior for centuries, but once you understand it, you can take back control. If you found this video fascinating, make sure to hit that like button and drop a comment. What's your biggest irrational fear? Also, check out our video on the science of horror movies to see why we love being scared. See you in the next one.